Hey ADF fans, this video is going to talk about a topic that I get asked quite often about, which is how to use Data Factory to detect changes in source data so that you can pick out just the changed rows from that. So this is not going to be a solution that's a true uh, CDC or change capture solution. And this is also different than the incremental data loading pattern that we have documented and as a pipeline template in Data Factory. Instead, this is how to use facilities directly within Dataflow, detect changes in rows. So let's get started on this. Now the method I'm going to use to do this is I'm going to focus on, on um, how to do this change detection based upon creating a fingerprint for the row. So essentially it's what's also known as a checksum. I'm going to pick a uh, number of columns from that row that are going to be the columns I'm going to use to determine whether or not something has changed from the source. So I'm going to use, to do this, I'm going to use a, um, a hashing algorithm. So I'm going to use SHA-1 and I've chosen to concatenate name, product number, and color. Now you can do this a number of different ways. You could concatenate or you could also um, list these out individually as n number of columns within your data. Just that the mechanism that I'm using for this sample is just concatenating, concatenating so that works just fine. So that's going to create a hash of those three columns, which means that if anything changes in those three columns, then you'll know that the row has changed. So the data that I'm using for this test and this demo is going to be, first of all, a staging table. This is all an Azure SQL database. Uh, no special configuration on the databases. These are just tables within the database. First, I have a um, a staging table. This would be a dimension table that it essentially will mimic the data schema for a dimension table for products. And this is my staging table. And then the second set of incoming data is, uh, my second source is called new prods. And this is all new uh, products that received from that day from SQL products. So what I have to do is I have to compare it's coming from this OLTP source to what's already in my staging dimension table to see what has changed. So within my staging table, you see in the data preview, I have, I store within it through my ETL process, I already store a hash of those three columns. So I already know what the hash of those three are. So all I have to do on the incoming data, which is from the OLTP, so it doesn't have any of these analytical schema or data warehouse constructs to it. So I'm going to create a checksum and I'm going to use that same hashing on those three columns that match the three columns that are also stored in my dimension station table. Now I have to use an exist. So an exist transform allows you to go across different streams. So you pick a left stream and a right stream, essentially two different sources of data from anywhere. You pick them from anywhere within your data flow and then you pick a matching criteria. So I'm going to say when the checksum is equal to the hash of the incoming row, the incoming column on that row, if they, it does not exist, then we know that it is a new row because the checksum is not already found in the staging table. And so when that happens, I'm going to tag it with an alter row. An alter row allows me to set profiles and policies based on how I want to update, insert, delete, or upsert the, the data. I'm going to just use upsert because if the hash was not found in the source and in the staging table, there could either be a new or an updated row. I'm not going to worry about it for this sample. I'm just going to say, you know what? In any case, I'll always do an upsert. And I turn on my upsert flag by setting the expression to just true. Now what's going to happen is on my sync, I go right back to that same staging table and I upsert directly against it. So the same table, the same data set as in this source. And for my settings, I just say allow upsert. So I need to set the flag for the upsert here on the sync. Product ID is my matching keys. So this is how ADF will know whether to update or to insert. No other table actions. And that's pretty much it. And then I'm going to use all of the same uh, column mapping. And then I've set my mapping for the columns to the destination. And that is it. So when you look at the data preview, you see there is one row that is new. So these, these are the, all the rows from my incoming and then these are all the rows already in my dimension table staging table and I'm going to update it with this new row right here. So I detected that this row is different. It didn't exist before and it's going to insert that. If it was an update then it would update. So that is how you can detect changes in sources with Dataflow.